Hello, my name is David Brody, and I'm the author of a book entitled Morning and Celebration. I never thought to see in my lifetime gay marriage. In fact, I've seen the total evolution of gay emancipation in my lifetime. When I was growing up in the UK, it was strictly illegal to practice homosexuality. Now in Canada, we have gay marriage. Of course, that's not been without opposition. The opposition claims that there is a threat to the conventional family life. As I see it, gay marriage is just an expansion of family life. The Canadian worldview is something which I admire too. If it doesn't harm anyone, it's okay. From a Jewish point of view, gay marriage is also a distant possibility. I've heard one Orthodox rabbi say, that if two people want to pledge mutual fidelity in front of friends and family, he's all for it, although as an Orthodox rabbi he could never solemnize such a marriage. Many heterosexuals decide not to marry, probably about 50%. We always want the things that we don't need or can't have. I've also seen uh, an Orthodox rabbi perform a religious affirmation ceremony for a Kohen, that is a priest, uh, who marries a divorcee. That is strictly against Jewish law. The conventional wedding ceremony was not performed, but the couple with the rabbi devised a ceremony which, which made the whole procedure sacred without following the usual procedure. Of course, there is a need to continuously defend say, the same-sex right to marriage. For instance, uh, there's still prejudice in our government against homosexuals. Recently, there was a Canadian cabinet minister who gave a grant to the Toronto Gay Pride Parade, and she was demoted as a result. Ultimately, however, freedom to marry is a matter of choice.